Hey you guys, I'm so excited that you're here in today's video. We're doing the French ombre or baby boomer nails that you guys all love, but this is professional done at the nail salon with SNS dip powder. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please subscribe down below. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I do a ton of nail vlogs, and I also post pictures on my Instagram, so come follow me there. But let's get started. I just have regular nail polish on. I'm testing out this brand called Static nails right now so that's what I had on um, and we're removing all of that she's filing down my nails um, she thought that I was getting SNS done on my regular nails which is possible but I wasn't I wanted to do an extension tip so she's drilling the um, nail bed with the e-file just a really soft buffer nothing too crazy didn't hurt as most of you know I do spend a lot of my money getting my nails done I enjoy getting my nails done it truly is a great pampering experience and um, for SNS this isn't my first time this is a different nail salon and a different nail tech that I've been to in the past she's dehydrating my nails here um, this whole process I've done before on my channel so I'll leave links to similar SNS or dip powder nail videos in the past um, in the description box but she's adding an extension tip um, now I've done it where we've added tips I've done it where I've gotten my nails built with a sticker like nail form sticker so I've tried both um, personally I think most nail techs add tips because it's quicker it's faster um, you get the clients in and out and um, you end up getting a really beautiful result personally I don't like how flat these tips are I prefer a more curved um, tip so when that when you look at it from the front of the um, nail it kind of looks more like a C or a U almost versus like this kind of slanted just straight line across the front if that makes sense um, anyways so she's just adding the glue um, with this fingernail she realized that the finger um, tip was too small so then we replaced it and did a bigger one she's also now cutting down the nail to the desired um, length I went for like kind of a medium length nail I didn't go for anything too long just because I'm gonna be getting them um, removed most likely in a little bit here um, but we are now just doing a kind of coffiny style shape um, she has this straight nail cutter that um, just kind of cuts straight across the side of the nail this is to kind of create an angle so that she's not filing so much Personally, um, I really like it when the nail goes all the way around. Um, if, it, I, if I were to do these over again, I probably wouldn't have asked her to cut them off on the sides because I like it when my full nail is covered. I don't exactly know if there's a specific reason for them doing that, but again, that's just my personal preference. Now she's going in with just a hand file and filing away at the sides, the angles, making sure it all looks good. And this is the base prep of SNS dip powder. So I don't exactly know what brand she's using. I haven't seen this brand before. Um, I'll try to zoom in and, and see and write it down in the description. But um, you just do a regular base coat and then you dip the nails into the powder. She does a different technique where she paints two nails at a time and then dips at a two at a time, which is kind of different from what I've experienced. Um, here she does three fourths just to cover up the um, ridge, like the extension of the nail and my natural nail. And then the second time she goes in with dip powder, she does from cuticle to tip of the nail, which is um, what I'm used to. A lot of nail techs do that. They'll build up the nail, so they'll do it in layers versus like doing a full coat of base coat they'll do just a little bit to protect the the kind of apex or the the center of the nail where um, it could break really easily from the added tip and the actual nail so again if you've never seen this process before you really just uh, polish and dip and polish and dip into the powder um, these nails end up becoming very natural looking very thin very very beautiful um, I prefer SNS and dip now over a lot of the other styles but here she is doing now the design the faded ombre style um, I've done 
ombre nails with gel they cost so much more money i highly recommend doing it with sns they come out so much more natural and beautiful and very very pigmented actually so in one cup she has the white powder in the other she just has the pink that we're using and if you look really really up close you actually can see all of like the dust but that's what makes it look extra um natural and just really soft and beautiful so again, she goes in with one coat at a time. We already prepped the nail with the um, base gel. And now she's um, she dipped my finger with the ring finger, which I thought was kind of interesting. And every other finger, she just did um, this brush method where she picks up the, the powder on the brush and then she kind of dusts it over the sides. She does more, I noticed that she kind of does it in an angle where um, she puts more product on the sides of my nails and less kind of in the center to make it look more curved um, and more natural. So again, as you can see, she's kind of angling it and doing more diagonal shapes on the sides and then in the center, she just does straight on, but it kind of gives it that curved effect. Um, these nails so far have looked really, really good. No breaking, no nothing. Um, again, SNS nails are really um, ideal for those who um, aren't doing anything really heavy duty with your nails. They're not the thickest acrylic nail. They're not the thickest of nails. They're quite thin actually from what I'm really used to. But if you um, don't work in a crazy environment where you're lifting boxes or anything like that, I highly recommend these nails. Again, I've never gotten any SNS nails longer than this length I've either done on my natural nail or I've done um, with kind of this length only so I don't know if it works that well having really 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 long nails with SNS nails in my mind it wouldn't um, work as great or it wouldn't hold as great just because of the length that it has to hold because the apex if you look over to the side of my nails right now they're quite flat so it's not really built um, round at the top so again I'm not a nail technician but this is just from my experience this is what I think in my opinion if you are leave a comment down below let me know if super long nails would work um, but personally I do like short shorter nails with the dip system because I find that it just looks so natural it looks really really good if you're looking to do something different than gel manicure I highly recommend this method it isn't that expensive I actually only paid like $50 I think for these nails and a lot of places don't even charge like they cost more to do um, even gel nails like 60 70 dollars for just a gel manicure too so um, yeah I really like these nails and again um, we're doing the same process over and over and over again I think we did ended up doing three dips in total um, where she did three dip coats and three dunks into the powder um, now some of you guys have commented in the past that it's you know, it's a debate uh, if it's sanitary to just dip into the to the kit like how we're doing it right now, or if it's better to just um, kind of powder over the nail. Um, I don't exactly know the right answer, but she then does the bonder, and then um, now the nails are kind of hard and they're ready to go. She starts filing them. Um, she makes sure that each of the sides, the extra dip powder that kind of got hardened with the liquid, is um, straight and flat and um, in one of my old videos, I had said to the nail technician that I really liked straight, flat nails. And a lot of people commented in that video. It has like over a million views now, but a lot of people commented in that video and was like, you know, you have to build the apex if you're going to do extension nails and this and that. And honestly, I think this is the kind of look I was going for, but I did the wrong kind of nail extension in that video because I did acrylic nails in that the uh, dip like the powder to liquid um, whereas here we're doing SNS and this is the exact kind of style that I wanted and they're really really strong and they didn't break off um, the million viewed video that one those nails ended up breaking off after a couple of days um, so you guys were right with acrylic nails I think you have to build the nail a little bit thicker um, but I don't know I mean again I'm not a nail technician so maybe we can have an open discussion in the description box or in the in the comments down below but um, this is the faded look so far she then goes in with a 
e-file again over my nail just to make sure that the ridge over the side if you like look to the side of my nails it's not super bumpy it's really smooth she goes over from left to right um, I noticed that she doesn't go from right to left ever um, I don't exactly know if that's because that's how she, like her hand naturally would go um, but then she'll also go around my cuticle and she also goes over um, like straight from cuticle to tip from like the bottom to the top if that makes sense too so she kind of goes in this round look um, I don't personally have an e-file I'm too scared to use them but nothing like heated up at all nothing really like burned or any crazy sensation I've done hard gel nails before like hard gel or gel extension and uh, gel UV I've seen it called that as well and those nails kind of have a burning sensation when I've done them in the past um, so yeah it's kind of a give and take um, see what works for you try out different styles of nails in my experience doing any extension nail this is kind of the more affordable nail um, to do in my experience again um, and they look really great the the finish is really nice I'm looking at them right now and um, this is the kind of nail that I wanted in my in my previous uh, baby boomer French nail that I've done at home I did it with poly gel it was a mess it was so hard to like make them look like this and this looks really really natural the fade is amazing it's so um, blend it's blended really well and especially because they're using a powder it just looks even more natural so we're just going to speed through this process. I'll let you guys watch and then I'll talk to you guys in just a second. So we finished up with a top coat, cuticle oil, and now this is the final look. I also went back home, put some rings on, and then um, just wanted to give you guys like a more high quality um, video of the nails. Um, again, all of the things that I'm mentioning and everything that I'm saying in this video is all based on my own experience of getting my nails done in the past. Personally, I love SNS nails. If you're considering them, I highly tr recommend trying it out. Get them done. See what you think and if you like them. Um, these nails normally will last me about like two to three weeks. Um, for me personally, I like getting them redone over and over again because I don't like the growth just like sitting there and like these nails are already long on its own and they just get longer and longer so I like getting them done a lot um and they don't harm my actual natural nail which I love too so um I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you guys want more nail vlogs definitely leave me a comment down below follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye